Salutations, welcome back to part three of how to make uh, or how to play uh, City of Heroes Homecoming. Again, my name is Phil. Uh, I'm JC Servant on Discord. You can friend me and I'm happy to help answer any questions. Join us on the official Homecoming Discord server. You can Google that up to see where that's at. If you downloaded the game, it's probably already told you where that's at. I highly recommend you join uh, and, and, and or add me as a global friend at Wildlight and uh and hit me up on reunion server i'll be happy to help answer any questions you have today we're going to show you how to make money and to do that i'm, I'm on tiny tank bot here a very low level character that's run a couple of story arcs already i mentioned story arcs at the end of the last video and when you do story arcs uh they will give you uh this the salvage called reward merits uh, now there's different types of salvage you can kind of click through the arrows here in the corner and kind of go through all the different types we want to go with reward merits here um, it's under special and and these are worth a, quite a bit of money today i'm going to show you how to convert those into cold hard cash because the game doesn't really tell you how so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into city hall if you zoom in on the map here and this is on most maps you will find what's called a merit vendor that's what you're looking for you can kind of see it's inside a city hall here so i'm gonna i'm gonna go on in there I just know where it's at. I usually just show people without the map, but the map can be helpful when you're playing. Um, the map feature will be helpful when you're in other areas and you're looking for a trainer or a vendor. You're going to get used to that map. The merit vendor is right here. It's the ATM looking thing. And there's it's going to show you what you can buy with merit badges. And there's all kinds of things. There, there's definitely all kinds of things. However, for the most part, uh, the vast majority of people that I have surveyed Tell you what they do is they turn their merits into money uh, or to converters to use to convert which is a whole nother video how do you turn it into money well you can use converters to buy special salvage uh, there are enhancement boosters and enhancement converters and things like that and these are under the salvage categories and unslaughters it's not super uh, important that you understand exactly what these things are now they can, these things can be useful when you're at higher levels and you're unslotting, if you're trying to unslot things and convert things and things like that. That's a subject for another video. Right now, we're going to focus on how do I turn this into cold hard cash. So you need to buy some of this salvage and then sell it on the auction house. The big three are the unslaughters, the converters, and the enhancement boosters. Now, I've on this character, they're low level. They've only run one story arc. They only have three reward merits, so they can't afford one of these guys here. Uh, so we're going to buy some enhancement converters. You get three for one. And we're going to hit buy three times so we get nine of these guys. Okay, so if I take a look at my salvage now, I've got, now I had one from before, so I have 10 total. All right, now I need to sell this on the auction house, thankfully. I don't have to even travel to the auction house on the homecoming server. All I have to do is go down to my chat channel down here in the lower left corner and just type forward slash AH for auction house, forward slash AH, and that will pull this guy up. And as you can see here, there's an area that says drag items here. So if we open up our salvage, move that to the side, and then drag this converters over to here, it'll ask me how many do I want to bring. Now, uh, you know, I'll bring one over and I'll hit OK. We'll start with one. And you can see here they're selling. This gives you a history. It sells they're selling for 59000 each. OK. Now, if you're brand new and you're just starting, what happens is you might try to say, well, maybe I can get 59000 You want to type in 59000 and then hit post. The problem is you do need some money to be able to post this onto the auction house. Uh, hopefully, uh, if you've just started, uh, but you play through some story arcs, you have a couple of these enhancements that bad guys have dropped that you can sell for money. There's a couple of vendors you can buy those from. I'm going to go back out here to Lady Liberty. There's a vendor right next to her that'll sell them to you. So just for reference, I'm going to jump over here. Here is Lady Liberty right here. Okay. And then I'll slow my character down a bit. If we just come around the corner to the left here, between the pay to win vendor and Lady Liberty is this person. And you can go through your enhancements and sell all of these enhancements. Do, do, uh, so you might be asking yourself, well, maybe I need these enhancements to equip them. No, 
we're going to buy better enhancements. So go ahead and, and sell all of these guys because the ones that drop just generally are not good. They are very rarely good. So just sell all these guys here and that should give you some beginning money. If that doesn't work, just hit me up. I'll be happy to give you some beginning money. You just need a few thousand to get started. And those enhancements usually will do it for you. Um, now go to the auction house again by hitting forward slash AH and come on over to the uh, salvage. And now we have money to post this. Now the one that I put over here is still over here. It's stored. So I can go ahead and post it. Now the way the auction house were, oh gosh, the last few sold for 68,000. The, the way the auction house works, it, it's a little complicated, but the person with the lowest bids, uh, or the person selling it for the lowest amount will sell first to the person who has the highest bid put into the system uh, and whatnot. So anyways, you see these set for 68,000. If I put this in for 60,000, it'll probably sell. Now you see my total fees is, is 3,000. If I'm a new player and I'm selling my very first one, I actually go for like half that amount just to make sure it really sells. I'm not going to leave too much money on the table because it'll generally sell to the highest bid that's in the system. So uh, occasionally somebody will have a bid in for only 30,000 and then I and then I might get uh, get only a little bit for this, but that's okay. It's only one. You just need to get some seed money going. And you can see that sold really quickly for 59,000 even though I posted for 3,000 and the auction house takes its fee. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. Now I'm going to sell these other nine because now I've got some really good beginning money. And by this point, I would normally have 30000 on your character. Put a nine in here and sell it for whatever you know you feel like selling it up to, maybe in this case, up to 60000 Now, so for those of you who are doing math, if you get 60000 from each one, you get three of them for one merit. That's 180000 per merit minus auction house fees. So you're getting at least uh, 160 uh, per merit. So you can list them for only one if you want to, and they'll sell very quickly. Um, but if someone has a bid only for one and all of it's very rare. If you sell them for one, you're usually okay. If I say hit one here, they'll sell to the highest bidder for the highest bid that was currently in there was for 54,000. So we'll go ahead and hit get all of that. And now I've got 900,000 on my character. I had 300,000 from before. Um, this gave me an extra 600,000 just like that. And that came from doing one story arc. Now six, uh, now what do I do with this money? I mentioned before, you don't want to use the enhancements that fell on the ground. You want to buy nice, fresh enhancements for your character. First off, you need to know which kind of enchantment, uh, enhancements to get. Um, if you pull up your character screen, uh, and you mouse over your different powers, for example, it'll tell you in the small print what kind of enhancements it allows. So my Brawl attack, for example, allows um, endurance modifications, damage modifications, accuracy modifications. My armor allows damage resistance, endurance cost modifications, and recharge speed. Learning how to build a character is part of the fun of the game. I won't give you too much advice here. I will say generally for my attack powers, I go with two reds and then a yellow, a red and a yellow and a red. But other people do what they're going to. Everyone's kind of got their own little take on this. Everyone does what they want to do. Um, and, and it's very, as you're leveling up, you're going to be playing around different builds anyway. So, so don't worry about this too much. But let's just say um, I need some new enhancements. Now you can see right here, this is a good example right here. This enhancement has a seven, it's in red. The thing, this is what we call an SO. Uh, there, are, there are three different types of enhancements, SOs, DOs, uh, there's there's a few different kinds, but in IOs, um, the SOs and the IOs, which are sorry, the SOs and the DOs. DOs is for dual origin. SOs are for single origins. So you can see here, I mouse over this. This is only good for technology people like myself. Those things are only good for three levels, uh, for, uh, three levels above and three levels below what they say on the uh, enchantment itself. So you can kind of see here. Uh, this enchantment is level seven. My character is what, level 11 or something like that. And so it's no longer working. I need a brand new one. If it's red, that means it's doing zero for you. So we need to get a, a fresh new one. So come over to the vendor here. And what you're gonna see is she has these, here's an accuracy right up here. It's a yellow one, color coded to make it easy. 
the thing is, as you click on this guy, uh, I think you have to right click and go info. You'll see that it says invention, science and technology, and it gives only it gives accuracy by 15%. This is a DO. DOs are subpar, we don't want to use those. If we scroll down a bit, about halfway, the prices will, will get substantially more expensive. I'm starting to see five digits here, and here's a new accuracy. That's 12,000. If I right click and go on info there, we'll see cybernetics technology only, and it gives me 30%. So it costs twice as much, but it gives me twice as much benefit. And it's 12,000, it's not cheap, but we just made 600,000 off the auction house. So that's not uh, too bad of a deal when you think of it that way. So I'll go ahead and buy that, which will put it down into my inventory. If I hit manage, I can drag that over and replace that power. And it'll show me that that will improve my accuracy by 33%. One, since I've already have an accuracy in there, I have a chance to combine them to make it a level 11. And I got lucky there. Sometimes that doesn't work. But there we go. Now I have a level 11 in there. I got 10s in the rest of these. Once I hit level 12, I can start buying level 15 ones because you can use something up to three levels above you. And, and it will last until like level 18. If I buy level 15s, I can use them from level 12 to level 18. So that's what you do with your money. Keep those powers updated as you gain levels with, with SOs. As you get into the 20s and 30s, you will definitely hear people talk about a new type of, 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 of enhancement called IOs or invented origins. Uh, and those do not expire as you level up. So they, they cost more, but they last longer and can help you for the, for the uh, back end of the leveling process. But that would be beyond the scope of this video. Hopefully, this has given you some information to kind of get your character started, get some money in your pocket, uh, and keep on playing. One of the questions I do get asked uh, about this uh, in terms of like using merit badges to exchange for money is, will I regret this later? Maybe I want to use, maybe I should be hoarding those merit rewards. Um, and, uh, you know, for, for the other things that are in here that cost a lot more. The, the, the answer in the community, generally speaking, is like, no, just go ahead and sell them. However, if you are worried, my advice is, and this is what I do on a lot of my characters just because, is just save, uh, just sell them when you need money. You can just sell them when you need money. I tend to sell mine in batches of 10, uh, 10 merits at a time, which usually gets me over a million each, or a million, two, almost 2 million in influence for 10 merit badges. And I'll convert them all to whatever, and I'll sell them on the auction house, and I'll just do it in batches as I need money. Now, there is something else you can do in the later game to make money as you hit into your 20s and through recipes and conversions and stuff like that and playing the auction house, and that'll be the subject for another video. If you'd like to see that, please leave a comment or shoot me off a message. Again, uh, I, am at, uh, I am at Wildlight on these servers on the homecoming servers. I am at Wildlight. I am JC Servant on Discord. You can find me there or just join the homecoming official Discord server. I usually hang out there in the new player channel. Again, I'm always happy to give advice, but if you'd like to see a video about how to use uh, converters and make money on the auction house, I can talk you through that. But until then, have a great time playing City of Heroes Homecoming. I'll see you.